can, all right, you're going to have to line me up on the camera. Hi, guys. <laughs> all right, I'm going to let you hand. Wyatt's handling the camera, guys. Right? I have, I have a feeling half of the people who are going to watch this are now lost because I had two. Well, I had my, I had my regular Google Hangout started, and then all of a sudden it, it got all weird, and I had to shut it down and start over. And so all those people were watching it on YouTube, and are now still watching a blank screen. But it's going to be a fun blank screen for them, I think. Uh, <laughs> So this is kind of interesting to see how this all goes. Thanks for tuning in, anybody who's tuned in. I think I'm probably a little bit early started, but I didn't see any point in just waiting around. Uh, so, yeah, Wyatt's handling the camera and the computer. If you have questions or anything, he'll try to just relay them to me. Try to hold the camera steady. Um, can you just get duct tape or something? Let's see. Is it hooked on? Oh, I see. You want to get it. It wasn't hooked on yet. Okay. Hang on one second, guys. Very experienced in technical difficulty. It's pretty cold. Yeah, why don't you go get some, there's some tape, not duct tape, just getting that blue masking tape. Right. You want to see why? Hey, <laughs> woke up like an hour ago. Okay, so now we're going to try to tape this camera down. <laughs> uh, you can tell all the, the hours of planning that went into this. <laughs> and by hours, we mean the term loosely. Yeah. I hear people. Oh, that must be me talking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I get it over there. Let's see. Comments. I've got a better idea for this. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm actually attaching it on the part where the camera's supposed to go. Well, you know, this would be a lot easier if... we had planned this? Well, or if these webcams came with, with a little uh, screw-on thing for a tripod, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but... but that would be asking too much, I think. Oh, yeah. Let me get that set up. Okay. Bear with us, guys. We're coming. We are experiencing technical difficulties. You know, when I actually, when this thing gets recorded, did you get it, Brian? Yeah, I got it. When this thing is recorded, nobody's going to want to watch it. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting through a guy just wandering around going, testing, testing. Okay, is this working? <laughs> is this working? <laughs> I feel like Thomas Edison or something. Hello? Hello? Yeah, but Hello? Thomas Edison knew what he was what's doing. It, what's, I'm going to get an Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> Watson, come here, I need you. And why am I doing that? Like, uh, Alexander Graham Bell had a had a Bluetooth or something. <laughs> Watson, come here. All right, trivets. I, I'm actually going to make a trivet. But you know, this is it right here. You've seen these before. This, I, I had to do a really simple one here. This is my third trivet. Well, this will be the third one, but this is actually the first of this kind that I made as a test to save a lot of setup time on this. So, uh, anyways, I guess I'll get started on the trivet. So what I've done is I've cut a couple of pieces of wood, so I'm going to see which one works out the best. But this is some of that, more of that, that beetle kill pine. Let me, let me bring it up to the camera. See that stuff? It's really cool. I've used that before. It's got these weird blue streaks in it, but you guys have probably seen me use that. So anyway, I just cut a couple of squares. Now, the other thing I did was I put in a dado stack on my table saw. I hope you can see that. You can see that all right from there? You don't have yeah. to zoom in. Just, just keep it there. Okay, so uh, you could also use a router for this if you wanted to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're getting shaky cam, I'm sure. I can adjust it. Ah, there. There you go. Um, so anyways, I got a dado in there, and well, you can see where this is going. It's not rocket science. So let me get started. This is going to get noisy here. Oh, I better get safety glasses because if I don't, everybody's going to yell at me. And I don't like to get yelled at. Usually it's YouTube people who yell at me a lot. Everybody else doesn't yell at me. But I don't know. Sometimes I just think they're kind of trolling or something. 
people, people get obsessive about the safety stuff. Well, the safety guru. So is there people watching, or am I just? Yeah, you got like. We got like 25 comments in a minute. Uh oh, that's a lot of comments. Is it, and why is just going to let me know if there's any interesting yeah. comments? So uh, say something interesting, and then. Uh, um. Uh, okay, so here we're going to. It's going to get loud here. Uh, so why you're probably not even going to be able to hear anything? Because what I'm going to do is turn on the table saw. I'm going to turn on the shop vac to keep the dust down. But it actually goes really quickly. So what I'm doing is I've got my board set to where I'm just going to keep moving the fence over like an eighth of, or no, one inch each time. Uh, wish I could zoom in. I can zoom in with that camera, but I don't know how to do it. It's so, going to take too much time. Uh, yeah, if I don't know how to do something, it doesn't happen. <laughs> but you'll get the idea. I'll show you how this works. Okay, so this is a pretty cool way to make a trivet, really. There is, actually is a project involved here. <laughs> Now it's probably getting right in the way. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see if this works. Okay. There. Okay. Okay, how we doing, guys? There we go. Now we have lights. We were up late last night. Yeah. Okay. Why had opening night like this? Yeah. Because Marius got the lead role. He's the hunky, the hunky lead man. This is generally how all of my projects go. I really never have any idea what I'm doing. Wait, did I do that? Yeah, that's good. You see what I'm doing here, guys? I just flipped it all over. You can see here's God. It is just hard to get this light to stay on. Curse you, light. Okay. So here's what I've got here, and you can see that is really, really simple to make. Um, but I want to dress it up a little bit. I think I want to put some edges on it. So what I'm going to do is move the camera over in such a way that I can use my miter saw. In fact, what I'll do is I'll just drag this over that way. You reposition the camera, okay. and I open this back up because it seems dark in yeah. here with that off. So, okay, let's do that. Okay. Move that back. Move that Maybe we could talk about Les Mis. Has anybody seen Les Mis? <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Let me go get some wood. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm going to put this light over here. Hold on. Okay. Why don't you use one of the other lights? This one sucks, huh? I know. Why don't you use that one? Well, if I open this door, this will help, too. Oh, yeah. Did anybody answer my question about this thing? Not yet. Um, what happens if you push through the wood too fast? Uh, you'll get big chips. It, oh, I'm sorry. Somebody asked what happens if you push it through too fast. Yeah, what happens, especially on a soft wood like pine, is that the you'll start to get just big, huge chip outs and big chunks will, will rip away. Um, also, it helps to have sharp blades, but I think that's true with everything. But, you know, all of my blades are always just really dull. I'm, I'm really bad at blades. So I just take it slowly through there. Um, you know, you can also, let me get down here where you can see me. You could also do this on the uh, on your router too. If you just had any kind of straight bit on your router, and all you want to do is just raise it up to you know a little bit more than the halfway point. So each time when you run it through, it'll cut through, and make that neat little square. And I should also say that it works out really nice to make these completely square because then you can just keep turning it <laughs> each time. If you were to do a rectangle, you'd have to figure something else out. I don't know what that is. Well, I think you'd have to actually just go through a whole bunch one way, and then you'd reposition it and do it the other way and keep moving your fence over. Okay, too much talk. All right. So what I need to do is i got to make a border for this thing. So, okay. I'm going to cut 45-degree 
How's your book doing here, right? And volume. In about... What happened? What? No. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that was loud. Okay. You know, whenever I make miters like this, I don't really have a good method, so I just kind of line it up. Can you give me a pencil? Watch the cord there. Thank you. What I do when I make miters is I first cut the one miter, and then, you know, it's a very low-tech way of doing it. And then I just kind of draw where I think the next one's going to go, so the end will come up to here. So it'll be something like that. Okay. So what I do is I usually cut these oversized to begin with. You know, I'm sure you can do it in a much more accurate way than I I'm do. I'm sure Matthias has worked out in a much more scientific way. Yeah, watch Matthias Wandel because, Matthias, if you're watching this, I'll bet you you have a way to do this that's like dead on every yeah. time. By the way, you guys should really watch him if you don't. That guy's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to check that and let's see if I can check. Okay, I should, I should probably do it. I'm in my own life is the problem here. Maybe if I did that. There we go. Okay. So whenever I make miters like that, I usually do just one to test it with and line up one side right at that point, and then I check the other. And you can see that I've gone way too long on this side, which is good because it's always better to go long than short. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay, uh... So it looks like I need to take off. This is this is some exciting viewing right here, isn't it? <laughs> Not that much. Yeah, come over there. So yeah, we saw Les Mis last night. Well, I saw Les Mis. I actually had to park cars in the parking lot. That way I can get a free ticket to see it. Can you believe I don't get free tickets to see Les Mis, and he's like the lead in, in the whole show? No, not really. Well, Marius. Marius is the lead. Mm, hey. I call it Jean Valjean, really. Mm. Okay. All right, let me see if I... Let's see how close I am this time. That's pretty close. Close enough. Yeah, well, this actually has to be really close. If it's not, it just won't work. Um, so, it looks like it might be a little long, but that's fine. I can cut all of these and then test it out. So, when cutting miter, and usually, you know, if you have a miter gauge, not, no, a miter jig, fence, sled, sled, <laughs> a miter sled for your table saw, that's really a better way to do it. You can get really, really accurate cuts that way, but I haven't made a new one for this saw, so I use this miter saw, which is actually pretty good. It makes pretty decent cuts and, you know, good enough for me. Flip these. Ooh, there's a bad spot there, so I'm going to cut that off. This one. Two, three, one more. Okay. I'm going to try this out and see how this is going to do Okay. Alright, do we have any questions for it? Any questions um, for it? Okay, let's see here. What's ZRAM? ZRAM Media. It's, it's my name phonetically backwards. It's Ramsey, except it's ZRAM. Yeah. That's the deal. So, okay, so these look good except for... This one here really sucks, so I'm not sure what happened there, but I'll just cut another longer one. <laughs> I wonder if it's the same on this side. Is there wor woodworking in Les Mis? <laughs> there should be. There should. Master of the house. <laughs> okay, i got to make this one a little bit longer. You know what the problem is? I don't think I made this very square to begin with. <laughs> but you know, everything is fixable just by... Science. Yeah. Trial and error. So let me just cut this one. Again. Oh, 
What has been your favorite project you built on camera and your favorite project off? My favorite project on camera and off. My favorite project off camera. Let me get down here, you can see. Okay. My favorite project off camera is probably that I, I made a DVD. It's a chest, a big, huge chest that we use all the time. That was probably that was really good. I used dovetails and everything got really fancy. But for woodworking for mere mortals, a project like that is just is a little bit ambitious. <laughs> I think it would just keep you boring. I think, in general, most woodworking projects are really boring to watch on video, so I, I try to keep mine simple. Enjoy. Even my, my first one I did, the, the, chess board. the chess board, to me was just way too long. I look at it now and I think, oh my god, who, this, people sit through it, I guess. So, I don't know. So anyways, I'm going to glue, glue all this together. Uh, we're going to move the camera once again over on this side, and I think that's where we can leave it for the rest of the show, too. Like right here? Yeah, because I'm going to come over here. And glue yourself up. So you're going to be facing this way. Okay. Um, just just rotate it. Bear with us. Yeah. Whoa, infinity computer. I'm going to move this. You can move it over that way if you want. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could, there's no way I could do this by myself. I'm glad I'm out here to help me out. Glad you have a nerd. I have a nerd. Okay, I want to do, uh, oh, here's something I can talk about. This, uh, how's the camera set up coming here? There we go. Ah, there we are. So a guy sent me this blue bot. Um, I wish I could remember your name, whoever it was. The, people send me a lot of stuff. But it's kind of cool. If you if you want to try out one of these blue bots, it for the most part, your glue doesn't get all clogged up in the thing, and you squeeze it, and the glue comes up this way. So I think you, I think it's best to hold it actually vertically when you glue it up. So, anyways, can you see this in the camera already? Uh, trying to get okay. I'm just trying to get set up over here. Okay. Actually, I can bring another light over here too. Or you can just use this one. That one's fine where it is. This one. I can see. You're just not using it up. Not using it up at all. All right. Okay. So this is a really simple glue up here. You guys have seen me do all this kind of stuff before. If you guys make picture frames, you know, picture frames I think are some of the is the best practice you can get for woodworking. It, in my opinion, I don't know. It's, it especially gives you a lot of practice for making miters. So those get glued up like that. But what I also want to do then is just make sure I have glue on all of these sides. Okay. What has been your biggest woodworking mistake slash accident? Doing a live show. <laughs> uh, no. Um, I haven't really had any major woodworking accidents. Like, contrary to popular belief, I'm actually very careful when I work and very safe with what I do. I just don't go crazy with following safety rules. I prefer to follow common sense. And, okay, that's a lot of glue. Yeah. But I do use a lot of glue. Yeah. And glue is a woodworker's friend. Okay. So, boom, boom, boom. I can't believe I'm doing this project in real time. Oh, see now, I forgot which way those were supposed to go. Is that it? Because one of these sides was too long. <laughs> is that it? No, this one's too, I need a shorter one over there. See, this is what happens when you don't cut your square at the right length to begin with. Also, what happens when you do a live show? Yeah. Well, anything could happen. It's live. They always like to say that when there's going to be a live show on something. But, you know, in general, nothing ever happens on that. Because we like to watch live shows. We watch American Idol and America's yeah. Got Talent. But we never see them live. Seeing things live on the West Coast is almost never awesome. happens. There we go. Except for football games. We yeah. watch football games like that. And award shows. Okay, here's another thing I wanted to, uh, a lot of people have asked me about this clamp, which I love using this clamp. I use it all the time for gluing up frames, and it's a, I don't know what you call it, a strap clamp or something. It's a Bessie, B-E-S-S-E-Y. -S -S -E wow, it's great because it just squeezes everything together. So anyways, I'll just glue this up. So once I get this glued up, then I can kind of sit back and take some questions and stuff. All right. See, this is a fast project. It's a good thing I practiced this one. 
You see, I, I never really practice any of my projects. I always just kind of make them and then shoot the video of it at the same time. And I, if I took more time, I would probably be better. How do you reinforce the corners? Well, on those other two trivets oh, I made, I hope you hear why it taught Are you hearing yourself when you mm -hmm. ask this? Okay, so I don't need to repeat the question. Because he asked, how do I reinforce the corners? On this, I'm not going to, just because for the sake of time. Yeah. But as, like the other two trivets I made yesterday, or in yesterday's video, I put those splines in it. I think the splines are really good. I think they really make things a lot stronger, because these aren't really that strong. But, you know, on something like this, it's not going to get a whole lot of use, and so I don't get too worried about it. There it is. Okay, so that's all glued up. So I can actually... Actually, I could put a couple plants on the sides of this one, too, since I put the glue on the side. Maybe I'll do that. Let me try that. That's why I keep my clamps here on this. Do you think if you had a bigger shop, you would make bigger projects? Nah. You know, I, um, I've had a, a lot of people ask me if I would... Uh, a lot of people... Well, I shouldn't say a lot. Some people, I get requests for, you know, bigger projects and, you know, longer ones, and I've done those before, you know, for my own personal stuff, but I just don't think it translates well to video, and I, I think it's just, it would be boring. Boring. And plus, I lose interest really quick on stuff. <laughs> I'm a short attention span. I guess that must be genetic. <laughs> there it is. There's the clip up. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab a stool. Why you can position the camera. Okay, I have to put it around the internet cord. Uh, we'll move this back over. Yeah. All right. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to let Wyatt uh, feed me some questions. Okay, first one. What is that was the project there, guys, by the way. So I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. Maybe uh, if I have time at the end of it, I'll okay. do some sanding. Well, and what is your day job? Anymore, this is my day job. It was for years I've been a graphic designer. Uh, until all the economy started going tanking, and then a lot of my clients either didn't need graphic design anymore, they were cutting back on their own stuff, or they were just trying to do it a lot in-house, which is stupid. I'm not sure why you want to put together a really crappy design for, <laughs> for something, but I don't know. So anyways, and it happened at the same time I started doing woodworking for mere mortals, and it just all kind of came together, and so I thought, well, you know, I could probably start doing this more, and it's kind of nice because it lets me do kind of some design work, graphic design at the same time. Like on my Facebook page, I always like on Sundays to do kind of a neat little design for the, <laughs> for the banner page. That's fun. I haven't come up with one I'm going to do for tomorrow yet, but I do like doing that. And I, you know what I like about the Facebook banner page? I'm really getting off track on these questions. Yeah. What I like about that is... I really want to have something on there every week that has nothing to do with woodwork. <laughs> to me, that's the funniest thing because I see these these Facebook sites and and they, and they just have the name of the site. It would be like huge woodworking for mere mortals. And I think, well, what's the point in that? That the you're name already, is right yeah, below there. You already know what you're going to. Yeah. Okay. okay. A project's getting harder to decide on. Actually, what to make every week. Yeah, uh, projects getting harder to decide. Yeah, it does get hard. Uh, that's one of the most common questions I get asked is how do I come up with the ideas. I mean, actually, sometimes it, it really scares me because I sit around thinking, usually because I get the video posted on Friday and then on Saturday I kind of think, oh, I can relax and so I clean up the shop and stuff. And then <laughs> sometimes it's not until maybe Wednesday when I finally come up with an idea of something to make. So then i got to figure out how just... What I try to do is come up with a project that's probably nothing new, but I try to do something a little bit different with it. I don't know. Uh, how many tools do you think you have? I don't know. I, just enough. How many tools do I have? I don't know. There's a lot. Yeah. Most, a lot of these tools were okay. my grandfather's Here's tools. one that was on here. Uh, what is your favorite type of clamp to use and why? My favorite type of clamp? Probably that band clamp that I used on this one. I use a lot. I also like these. Yeah, can you see that all right? Yeah, I can see it. These bar clamps. Those are really handy. I use those a lot. I'd say both of those. I, I mean, these, I think that's about an 18-inch bar clamp. 
I think I use that probably more than any other fans. Uh, yeah. Okay. Did you ever finish your chess set? <laughs> Curse you, chess set! <laughs> no. No. But a viewer actually uh, dropped off some round spindles in, in hopes that I would make those chess pieces. And I never have them. I'll, I'll get around to that someday. <laughs> and we play chess a lot, too, but we don't use that chess because I don't have any chess pieces. <laughs> Where did you find the music for your last video? I, I get all that public domain music. Uh, it's cheap. It's free. Well, I mean, I can use it, and YouTube doesn't bark at me if I use um, copyrighted music. So It's uh, Incom Tech, I think, is the name of the place. They're really cool. It's all sorts of different styles of music, and you can use those for your videos. Did you ever plan on making projects to sell? Yes. I've actually, I sold a couple of cajones, uh, mm -hmm. and I, I thought yeah. for a while there maybe I could make stuff and sell it, but <clears throat> not with doing the videos. In fact, uh, right now I get a lot of requests for people who want some of me to make some of the projects in my videos, so I have a guy who does that. For me. Okay. Could you beat Tommy McDonald in an arm wrestling match? <laughs> no, but I'd have to get on my tight T-shirt to do that. <laughs> Tommy McDonald, Tommy Mac. Tommy Mac was up in the, the wine country recently. I tried to. I was hoping he would stop by here because I he wanted didn't. to ask him some. And you know who's going to be? I was talking to Lainey the other day, and uh, Roy Underhill is going to be at this woodworking show down in. Pasadena, which I was kind of thinking about going to. I'm not really sure because it's, it's like a long ways off from here. It's like at least a five or six hour drive. But I would love to interview Roy Underhill or Norm Abram, but I wouldn't ask them any woodworking questions because everybody knows that. But I would, I would love to ask them, like, what, what is your favorite kind of pie? And so, <laughs> I just think that would be funny, you know. <laughs> what is a good first woodworking project? First woodworking project. Uh, picture frame, I would say. Well, no, that, maybe that might be a little bit more. You get cut my ears with that. A good first. Oh, I know a box. Any kind of box, really. You make a box like every week. I, really, that's all I do is make boxes. I think most woodworking projects are just kind of variations on your box. I mean, even the, this type of trivet. That's it's just, just like a box. A box, really, yeah. with, without a lid. Sort without of. a lid. Um, the neat thing about these trivets, though, is just that whole easy way of making those little. This was actually going to be my project this this week, and I thought, wow, that is really simple. And what I, the funny thing about it is, when I come up with projects, and sometimes I think, oh, that's just so stupid, so simple. <clears throat> and then once I start shooting the video and everything, I think, yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> okay. So, um, your power battery's running low. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Can you handle it yourself? Go okay, get back. the extension. Go get the power cord. He's going to go get a power cord. Wait a second here. All right, I'm going to see if I can man this for a little while. And let's see. Uh, okay, somebody asked, would I ever attempt to make a guitar? Uh, yes, I would love to make a guitar. Wyatt wants me to make a guitar. Uh, wow, that's one of those projects that I'm just really dying to make. But i got to really figure out more on how to do that and how to get all the the guts for it, because I think it's sort of expensive, probably, an electric guitar at least. I don't think I would want to attempt an acoustic guitar, because that sounds like uh, you have to have, it demands a lot more precision, I think. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, how do you organize all of your tools? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, actually, I don't organize my tools. I, uh, my pegboard back here, can you see that on the video? Yeah, I guess you can. My pegboard back here is, uh, when I built this hutch here like 10 years ago, I stuck a bunch of pegs in there, and they haven't moved since. <laughs> so whenever I just have a space for something, I just kind of stick it on there. I don't really organize it. So I'm not really good at that. I just, uh, and usually the place is, is kind of a mess, too. I, would, I don't know. It's hard to stay organized when you use stuff a lot. And just I, when I clean up, I just want to put things away really quickly. Okay, let me see if I can find favorite. Somebody asked, what's my favorite brand of tool? I don't know. I don't, I'm not really into brands. I think if the tool works, it's fine. Um, usually I'm not really sure what, <laughs> what brands I use. Uh, and I also, I'm a big believer in kind of getting inexpensive tools <laughs> because 
because unless you're going to be a professional woodworker and working every single day, you know, I think if you just get kind of low-end tools, they seem to work out fine. Uh, let's see. What, uh, wow, there's a lot of questions you guys are asking in here. Uh, what's my, <laughs> my favorite kind of pie is cherry pie. Uh, what do I do for a living? I recovered that. Have you thought about making a graphic design channel? Well, actually, I did. You know what? I'm just tired of graphic design, really. I've been doing it since 1995 or so. And so, I don't know. Graphic design is a funny thing because it's... I think a lot of people get into graphic design thinking that they're going to do great artwork, and it's nothing like that. It's just putting together pictures really fast and really quick. Oh, Here we go. oh good. We've got a power cord. Yeah, Yay. It's down to like 7%. Right now it should be like 6 or something. I'm going to get my cup of coffee over here. Okay. We need some music to go in here. That's the Jeopardy song. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's cold coffee. Okay, well, I need to pick yeah, out some more. What time is it here? Um, it is 9.35. Wow. I actually made that project that quickly. Wow. Uh, okay. Where do you get all your wood? Uh, Question marks. Trees, originally. <laughs> but where... <laughs> no, I get wood. A lot of people send me wood, which is really nice. I really like that. I like the wood I used for this project was sent to me. Except for the... Uh, oh, wait. I'm going to go here. Except for the edging on here, and, and I bought that. That's redwood. I get them locally. Uh, once in a while, I buy wood at Home Depot if I have to, but I, I hate Home Depot so much. But if you need wood, sometimes it's the cheapest place to go. Um, but I just hate going into that place. I have had the most miserable experiences at Home Depot if ever. If I <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my Home Depot. I don't know. But yeah. we've got a local lumber yard here that I can get wood at. Where do you stream this video from? California, Arizona, New Mexico? Where do I stream it from? California. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's a new one. Have you ever used honey locust lumber? I don't know what honey locust lumber is. Sounds interesting. I like anything that has honey in it. It makes it sound like it's got a great amber color. Yeah. Uh, who would win in a fight between all of the woodworkers on YouTube? <laughs> all of the woodworking... YouTubers. Oh, I don't know who would win in that fight. I'm not really sure it's a fight because you're going to different audiences. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. It's, it's but it's kind of neat the way that we the woodworking works with what Mark is doing and Matias and we all. I mean, I'm sure people watch all of us, but we all have different strengths and we do different things. I mean, Mark is really, really good at you know doing kind of high end stuff and really excellent. Which to me, I can't really. I'm not good enough to do that. So that's really fun. And then Matthias with all of his engineering stuff is, is really awesome to watch. And, okay. and then there's a, you know, a bunch of other guys. What's your favorite type of wood? My favorite type of wood? Hmm. I don't know. I guess it depends upon the project. I, I like uh, maple. I like to use maple a lot. Maple is a little tricky to work with because it burns when you're running it through the saw sometimes. And I, I try not to use oak. I know oak is really popular. And I use it a lot, but I don't really like oak for some reason. It has a weird way when you cut it, the ends of it seem to just kind of crumble somehow. I, I don't know what the deal is with oak. But. Okay. Any more thought on making a cryptex? Oh, yeah. You must have been there. Somebody asked me about making a cryptex. A Maybe people. this was the guy yeah. who asked me about that. I think it's a cool thing. It's, what is it's, it? It's a little uh, like a puzzle box. Well, not a puzzle box. It's a, like a combination. You know, you turn the numbers to a different way. Oh. And I think it was in the Da Vinci Code or something. Had the, the crypt. I didn't see the Da Vinci Code. Had a crypt. And then you open it up. But I think it sounds cool. So kind of like a box with a padlock? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen examples of it on Wikipedia. Okay. How do you feel? How do I feel with my fingers? <laughs> How did you learn woodworking? Uh, mostly for my dad. Yeah, he had a shopsmith. My dad had a shopsmith. Uh, he got that when I was probably eight or nine, and that's a cool tool. It's kind of a all. And if you don't know what a shopsmith is, it's kind of an all-in-one woodworking tool that you turn it around. You've got a table saw, a drill press. It's got a horizontal drill, which is really cool, and a lathe, and all this stuff in one tool, which is fun. But a shopsmith is hard to work. It 
I don't know. I find it a little bit difficult because you have to keep changing the tool. You can't just jump from one tool okay. to the other. Would you ever try to make Pinocchio? Make Pinocchio? <laughs> yeah, why not? Well, he was a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you got any DeWalt tools? Yeah, I've got DeWalt. I've got my sander over here. And, 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 and I just bought a jigsaw that was DeWalt. This is it right here. It's my old one. Pumped out on me, my old saw. So I, I got that one. I like using that jigsaw, but uh, I don't use that that much, really. I guess probably should. I'd like to use my scroll saw more if I had a good scroll saw. But you don't. Okay. Can you open the online store? Uh, you mean the cafe press store? Can I open the cafe press store? I guess that's all it says. It should be open, as far as I know. I don't know. I'll, I'll check into that if it's not. Have you ever used Brazilian rosewood? Yes, I've used Brazilian rosewood. In fact, I think I still have some of it right here. It's really cool because it makes a great tone. Oh, hang on a second. I've been saving it. Here it is. I've been saving this for a musical project. It makes really cool tone. I just like to listen to it. But I have this one piece that I've been saving. It would be great to make a, a xylophone or something out of it. So, and it's beautiful wood, too. But I think they use that a lot in musical instruments. Okay, what is something that you would never make? <laughs> something I would never make? I don't know. I'm kind of open to anything. I think I would make anything, you know, unless it's too complicated for me. <laughs> what about a chess set? <laughs> I may make that chess set. It's now it's, yeah. become, a, it's become a thing now. <laughs> well, will you be making more guitar, more magic tricks soon? Oh, magic tricks! I love making magic tricks. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to come up with something, another magic trick. Okay. Who do you? Uh, what brand of glue do you use? What brand of glue? Tight bond. I get the huge gallon size. That's it right there. Tight bond two. I guess you can get tight bond three, which is weatherproof. But this one says weatherproof too, so I'm not really sure what the, it works. You know. Have you ever invented anything with wood that's new? Uh, invented something that's new? Probably. I'm trying to think. There's some, something recent I did. That, hey, the the little pencil holder with the hidden <laughs> compartment. I think that was new. Oh, sorry. Uh, Okay. What equipment are you using for live streaming? I use my. It's a Logitech camera, high def cam, uh, high, high webcam. Webcam, yeah. And the what, and the computer. Thing, and then the Google Hangout thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm really sorry this thing is so awkward to get started. I, I really haven't figured this all out yet, and so if I do more of these, I'll try to <laughs> I'll try to get better at figuring it all out. And, you know, the problem is this morning, I have a feeling a lot of people probably aren't able to watch this because I started streaming on the YouTube channel and all of a sudden I freaked out because the image was flipped and I didn't realize, I think it's supposed to do that on my end so that it's like looking into a mirror, I think. And so I, I couldn't figure out how to fix that. I thought something was wrong, so I closed everything down and then I started up a new <coughs> Hangout. And so Okay, I've got one. This is translated from Google. It's in Portuguese. Uh-huh. The t rough translation is, what is the strangest request that has already been claimed? The strangest request, I guess. What's the strangest request that I've had? Oh, man, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that one. I get a lot of strange requests. I get a lot of requests for projects, and, which is good, really, because it actually gives me ideas of things to make. Is it possible to make a Rubik's Cube out of wood? I, I think I've seen a Rubik's Cube made out of wood, but man, that's ooh, that's pretty hard, I think. Yeah, exactly. The arrangement. Is yeah, and you need those little complex. special little devices that make it go. Okay. Do you like pizza? Love pizza, yeah. Okay. Have you ever been trolled? All the time. People troll me constantly on YouTube, especially. God, what is with the YouTube trolls? Sometimes I just ban those people who are trolling me who just piss me off. Now, other times... But uh, sometimes I kind of get into it, and I like to try to... I, sometimes I'm a real smart ass with these people. Too, you don't say. <laughs> it's kind of fun. But um, if they get really nasty, I just ban them. Okay. Do you believe in zombies? 
Oh man, <laughs> zombies are coming. Yeah, I've already prepared what we're going to get at Peenies in the zombie apocalypse. Oh yeah, we've been trying to come up with our zombie apocalypse yeah. kit. We wear a lot of leather. Yeah, see, we can't, We thought if there's a zombie apocalypse, you wear leather because then they can't bite. You know, we were thinking yeah. you should have armor or something. I thought, well, just leather would work. And you just, so you just wear leather and then you go, yeah, bite, bite. I mean, how strong can a zombie's bite? Then again, in Day of the Dead, they rip the guy's arm off. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But zombies are really squishy. When you ever yeah. hit them or something, they just go, they just splat. <laughs> have you ever heard of Lido Pizza? L E D O, East Coast favorite. No, I don't know Lido Pizza. I know the best pizza place in San Francisco is Piero's Pizza. pizza. <laughs> and I used to, when I first moved to San Francisco, we lived right above Piero's Pizza. And we couldn't afford to eat there because we, we were broke at the time. I think I was 20, 21, something like well, that. that. It. Yeah, and we'd, we'd smell the pizza make, being baked every, every night. <laughs> okay. What's your opinion on woodworking for immortals? <laughs> No I encourage woodworking from immortal. <laughs> uh, have you tried to make a functional boomerang? No, that's an interesting idea, boomerang. But you know what also that reminds me of is another good idea is these uh, bull rushes. Have you ever seen a, is that what it's called? A, a bull, rush, bull, bull rush. Bull rusher or something like that. Yeah, it's basically just a bull. No, it's like a bull whistle. Bull, yeah. So but anyways, like and you swing it, and it just goes, woo, 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 woo. which also reminds me of that cool thing we saw at yeah. the music store. We was, saw this, uh, they called it a, a, a wind, wind singer. Wind singer. I think if you go to windsinger.com, you might find it. Or just Google know. it. Yeah, just Google it. And it's a, it's, weird. it's a dowel. It looks really simple to make. But, so you, you've got a dowel here, and then it's got these, uh, it's shaped like a kite, sort of. Kite right? frame. You got another dowel going across here, and then connecting these is just these thin like rubber ribbons, ribbons, I guess you would call it. And so you take it and you go, whoa, 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 and it oh, whoa, makes whoa. the coolest sound. And so the guy's selling these here locally, he's selling lots of them. Yeah. I guess he's got a website, and you can adjust the sound by moving this center piece up and down so you get a higher pitch sound or something. Anyways, I was kind of thinking about making one of those. It looks pretty easy, and then I'll get a lawsuit from the guy. You said you moved to San Fran. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Denver. Yeah. I moved out of Denver when I was 18. A boomerang seems like a project that might come back on you. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> I'm all about poems. Would you make a kite out of wood? Uh, sure. You could make a kite out of wood. You'd like wood, I think. Yeah, maybe balsa. Boat? Simple box. A boat? Yeah. Um, how are your strawberries? Strawberries are good. We just picked some yesterday, but they're small. I don't know. We don't tend to them enough, I guess. Certainly any of these that are relevant. <laughs> I know. This is the weirdest thing. Do you like Robocop? <laughs> the movie? I guess. I guess. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so <Robocop. random. laughs> Wyatt loves these questions, by the way. Okay. Do you do much metal work? No, I don't do any metal work. Kind of I'd funny. like to. You know what I'd like to learn is welding because I, it's really cool. I watch like American Chopper or something. Those guys are always welding, and I think yeah. that's cool. I'd like to do that, but I wouldn't know where to begin. I'll have to go look at welding for your metals. Would you ever make a wooden pickle? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? See, I've just been dying to ask that. <laughs> a wooden pickle. I think that's my next project, the wooden pickle project. What's your... What's your favorite beer? Uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is my favorite beer, definitely. Okay. Uh, uh, have you ever considered making a wooden replica of RoboCop? <laughs> <laughs> this guy likes RoboCop. Who's, what's his username? Um, Michael Tet. Michael. Michael Tet. I'll have to give some consideration to RoboCop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there something new with RoboCop? That's an old movie, but maybe... Is there a remake or something that I'm not aware of? Sometimes I'm out of the loop on these things. I try to stay up on stuff like that. Could you make me a guitar pick box? Could I make you one? I could. I, I won't. <laughs> is your wood shop always so clean and tidy? <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> but you know what helps is having a weekly show. It really kind of gets me to straighten things up. And like I said, after I do a project, usually on Saturdays, I try to clean everything up. The biggest problem is sawdust, really. And that, I think when you have a wood shop, keeping 
the sawdust at bay is really important because it just gets overwhelming. So I'm yeah. always vacuuming and sweeping. Okay. And Someone sweeping. says that we need wooden pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be the theme of next week's video, wooden pickles. Yeah. Or you could do that as your cover picture. Oh, that's it. Wooden pickles on my Facebook cover <laughs> picture this week. Okay. Uh, are you going bald? No, I'm not. I actually have hair. But You're I need a haircut. Gray. I'm gray. I wasn't gray until he was born. <laughs> How old ye be, Steve? How old am I? Well, you know, I'm old enough that I have to do the math. I was born in 1966, so that makes me 40... So let me do the math really quick. 47, 6, six 4, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Yeah, 46, right? Six. Uh, seven, do you like to vacuum? Do I, <laughs> no, I don't like to vacuum. What's it with wooden pickles right here? <laughs> uh, would you ever do an Olympic project? I was thinking about doing an Olympic project. In fact, since the Olympics are uh, going for two weeks, maybe next week I'll do some sort of an Olympic project. I think if anybody has any ideas for something that would be cool to go with the Olympics, that would be good. I like to, it's, I like to come up with projects that are somehow relevant for the time. That's why Christmas and that sort of thing is good <laughs> for me because it's easy to come up with stuff easier. How about a torch? A torch. That's kind of a cool idea. Yeah. But I, mean, I haven't seen the, uh, the opening ceremonies yet, but I heard that there was a, a, was there a fight between Voldemort and Mary Poppins? Was this true, or was this like an internet thing? I don't know. I want to see okay. it. If but so. people are estimating 46, 45, 46 exclamation point. Well, there you go. 40, 40. <laughs> God. Isn't that bad? I used to always know my oh. age when somebody asked. Now, so I someone just said, make the torch. Make the torch. Okay. Six seconds ago. Maybe I'll do that. An Olympic torch. That could be an idea for next week's video. Bow and arrow? Bow and arrow would be cool. What is one project you always wanted to make but never have? Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. The chess set. Yeah, the chess pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it feel like cheating by using the pocket hole technology? No. Cheating? Why would that be cheating? And... Know. Another two people say that you should make the wooden pickle. <laughs> the wood pickle is from Bad Santa. I want to make one at one point. Oh, some point. Bad Santa. I think, have I seen I Bad think, Santa? I don't know. Sounds familiar. Wooden pickle Olympic rings. Ooh. Now you've got something. Um, a lot of people are saying Olympic rings. Someone just said a pickle. Um, what do you snack on while you work? Uh, I don't usually snack. I don't like to have food out here because they just get sawdust on the stuff. Yeah. Can you, can you guys hear? Can they hear you all right? Yeah, I can hear me. Because he's asking the questions, and so I hope that you can hear Yeah, you can hear me. Um, a li an Olympic pickle. Ha, 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 ha. I got everyone hooked on wooden pickle. <laughs> Can't open the wooden pickles already. Mustang GTM 0413, by the way. That was the person who first said the wooden oh, pickle. Okay. All right, Mustang. Yeah, you need wooden pickles. Um, okay. What new channel for you, welding for mere mortals? Yeah, see? That would be merely, mere, real mere mortals. I wouldn't have a clue about welding. That would be fun. Okay. Mustang GTM, blah, blah, blah. Woohoo, shout out. <laughs> uh, will you be making more live videos? I don't know. Maybe. I'll have yes. to just, yeah, I'll probably, probably keep it shorter than this one. I don't yeah. know who's watching this. Just kind of rambling. It's 9.52, by the way. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll end this at 10 o'clock. So yeah. we've got eight more minutes to get some questions. Um, have you ever, ever ordered wood online? Uh, yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, and It's good to order wood online, actually, because they don't want you to have to send it back to them. So they usually give you the best pieces they can find. So I encourage buying wood online, definitely. And... Someone says that you should make a guitar for me. <laughs> I know. I would like to make it. It's in the works. Well, not really in the works. It's only I've been thinking about it. I, well, think, I think it's like works. a strap or something would be kind of cool. Yeah, but like, more like a Prince body design where it just goes all in and all over the place. Okay, bigger projects? Do I have any bigger projects? Uh, um, to make one? I uh, don't have anything in mind right now. I'll probably come up with something. How about... Have you ever built a, a working gun from wood? No, I haven't. I've had a lot of people want me to make a rubber band gun, though, or, or uh, yeah, rubber band gun. That would be fun to make. But there's a lot of those on YouTube already. A pickle chess set. <laughs> Man, these people are obsessed with pickles. 
Um, what is what is my favorite band? Your favorite band? Yeah. Oh, what's Wyatt's favorite? Band? Um, there's a lot. I'll, I'll turn the camera on you. Ah. <laughs> um, I'd say Florence and the Machine is pretty cool. They're kind of one of my recent favorites. Radiohead is kind of cool. Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, kind of that pop punk stuff, but not too pop. I guess. Just well, there you have and it. old stuff like that. Blink One Eighty Two is pretty cool though. Yeah. I like Blink One Eighty Two. Okay. And Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, that's punk. <laughs> uh, how about a guitar case? Guitar case. Wow, a wood guitar case. I don't know if I've ever heard of that before. Yeah, really yeah the hard case? cases. Oh, oh the like hard case for like a bass or something. Or even just regular yeah. guitar. Huh. Yeah, because it's just... Box. Wouldn't it be heavy? Yeah, that's the way they are. Oh. I mean, like an airport case, that would be really heavy mm-hmm. and expensive. But I think you can make a guitar case pretty cheaply. Make a chest from Minecraft. Minecraft? Yeah, that'd be a good chest, Dad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the video would have to be in a repeat. I want to see if this blue is held so far. We're getting back to the project. There it is. There's the trivet. The nice thing about using that wood glue is that it gets about as strong as it's going to get in about an hour. And so you see, having isn't has it even been an hour, and it's pretty much good. I could probably break it apart right now if I wanted to, but for the most part, that is done. Um, <clears throat> there's also one other thing I wanted to show you that I was thinking about using to finish this. Hang on one second. Why? I got this. Uh, you keep the camera where it is. I'll come back. Uh, okay. I'll be right back. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have ever used this before, but I got this, it's milk paint is what this is, and it's just a powder, Mm. and so this is what it looks like. I did a little test of this red on there, and it's really cool. It looks like kind of barn red or something. It's got a super flat looking finish, and, you know, it's all non-toxic and green. And it kind of looks cool, too. I'm all about being green. Oh, yeah, right. But it's, anyway, so I was going to use that on here, and all you do is just, you just mix some of that powder up with with milk, or not milk, with water. Mix some of the powder with water. Would you ever think of making a wooden banana, you know, to go with the pickle? And for my banana stand, yeah. too. You should make wooden tools from Minecraft. <laughs> okay. How about making me an air guitar? 